if you didn't catch my last video, I am on my way back to China. I'm actually just about to land there. Uh, the flight's been about nine hours and I've basically spent six hours of it watching Harry Potter. I'm so excited to be landing super soon. I'm obviously excited. I'm also feeling pretty, a little bit nervous because I don't really know what's waiting for me on the other side. Is it two weeks of quarantine? Is it three weeks of quarantine? I don't know what kind of hotel I'm gonna be getting. Will it be, you know, a Hilton five-star kind of place or will it be something a little bit more on the grungy side, shall we say? I have no idea. I have no choice in it, it seems. So join me on this journey. We'll see what happens together. down there I'm pretty sure that's the Jewel High Hong Kong Macau Bridge. I think it's like the longest overwater bridge in the world. Problem with landing shortly is make sure your seatbelts are securely fastened. We're here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Guangzhou. The outside temperature is 36 degrees Celsius. Mum gave me this fancy face shield to wear once I landed, but I wore it for all of five minutes before that Guangzhou heat really got to me. I started sweating profusely, thought the quarantine guards might take that the wrong way, so I took it off. Okay, so this is the situation. We came off the plane, we went into this line and did all our health checks, made sure that, you know, um, we've got all the paperwork saying we don't have COVID, and now we've just been put in this waiting zone. The speed in which you can get through all of these checkpoints, and there are a lot of them as you're about to see, um, it depends almost entirely on the order in which you get off the flight. So once we got off the plane, everyone was given one of these. It's a sheet with some QR codes, a bit of random info, but the important part of it is this number here, and that tells them what number you were to get off the flight. They call you up by numbers to go into the next round of checks and the next thing and the next thing. So um, if you get number like, 150, you may be waiting a lot longer in that waiting area to go through to the next point. So I'm in another line. And we got this little announcement that says something about a 14 day quarantine, which is, makes me happy. It's not a 21 day quarantine. So far, so good. And it says that it could be taking us to nearby cities, including Guangzhou, Foshan, and Tinyuan. So my quarantine hotel might not even be in Guangzhou. Okay, I passed another checkpoint and now I believe I am, I think this is the point where I get my COVID test or maybe this is customs. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm losing track. There's already been like three or four different checkpoints. Okay, COVID test done. All I have to say is I really dig it in there. Felt it in my brain. Reunited with my luggage. I'm officially cleared to enter China, pass through customs. Um, yeah, I'm good to go. I'm currently in the line to get on a bus for hotel quarantine. And from beginning getting off the flight to now, it's been an hour, an hour and a half, which is a lot faster than I was expecting. And it's completely due to the fact that I was upgraded to premium economy. I was the first, one of the first ones off the flight. And yeah, the whole process was super quick because I was one of the first ones, but um, yeah. I don't know, if you were at the back of the plane, this whole process would probably take you like three or four hours at least. And uh, yeah, looks like hopefully soon I'll be on a bus seeing what quarantine location I go to. I have no idea what to expect. Hopefully it's somewhere nice. Just stepped outside for the first time and oh my goodness, it is so humid. Our bus is just there. Soon I'll be taken to my quarantine hotel. officially on the quarantine bus and now is where the whole surprise comes into it. I have no idea where we're going. I don't even know if we're going to Guangzhou. We may be going to a surrounding city. I don't even know what I'm hoping for. Something cheap but a little on the less nice side or something like more expensive but it's going to be really comfortable. We were driving for about an hour before we got off the highway and there was a sign that indicated that we had arrived in the Panyu district of Guangzhou. And before long, we were pulling up to the hotel where I would be spending the next 14 days of my life in. Our rooms were already allocated to us before we arrived, but there was so much paperwork and forms we needed to fill in before we could go up. My hotel room number, heading up to my room. Oh, what is gonna happen here? Oh, okay. This is me. Okay, I am in. This is my room. It's actually really nice and sizable. Oh, my bathroom. 
quite nice, very large. I have a shower. And look at this grandeur. Isn't that grand? I'm very happy about this. Oh my gosh, okay, well, I'm just so tired. So I am going to sleep. Um, and in the morning, I will inspect the room. I'll give you guys a tour, a better tour. But yeah, wow, this will be my home for the next 14 days. I'm really happy with it. This is great. Good morning. I had a lovely long night's sleep and I am ready to give you a tour of my quarantine hotel. So this is the front door. And then outside of the front door, there's a little, little chair where they can drop stuff like food or you can put your rubbish. Um, I have a nice big wardrobe and they provide hangers. So I've unpacked my things and I'm feeling really good about having everything nice and neatly. Now we move on to the bathroom, which is really nice and big. So we've got the shower here. They provide a lot of towels. Got a nice big vanity with lots of space. And then they provide a lot of cleaning stuff like garbage bags. They've got some cleaning stuff. And I think even here they provide some laundry detergent because I guess if we're going to be here for two weeks, we're going to need to clean some clothes at some time. Lovely, nice big bed. Loving these details on the walls, very chic. <laughs> Look at these little lights. Look at these little details. Up here, you'll also see I have air conditioning, which I'm really, really happy about. My worst fear, well, one of my worst fear was getting to quarantine and uh, it's hot here in Guangzhou, it's super, super humid. And I was worried that maybe my air con wouldn't work or I wouldn't have one, but it works, it's there and yeah, I'm very, very happy. But what makes me even happier than the air con is something that I just was not expecting and I'm so, so pleasantly surprised by. I have a balcony that I can actually go out onto. So it's, it's quite nice and spacious. I have a lovely view. Um, I'm in the Panyu district of Guangzhou, so it's not like in the city center or anything, but actually in the distance over there, I can see the Canton Tower, which is like the landmark building of Guangzhou. So this is actually a room with a view and you can see it just on the horizon there. So I think the whole concept of quarantine has suddenly become a lot more palatable now that I know that I can go outside, I can get fresh air. I'm not like cooped up in one room, but <clears throat> by no means is like a balcony a feature of every quarantine hotel. I was texting some friends that I made on the flight over and they're in different hotels. I'm the only one that actually has a balcony. So I'm very lucky. I love my room. I think it's really nice and big. Got my little workstation set up here. Well, I will work at some point. Right now I'm watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> all in all, super excited, super happy about where I'm gonna be spending the next 14 days. I even have a little armchair over here, just like, you know, the creature comforts, somewhere to sit and watch my Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So I've got all my teas and I've got a little tea set up here. And they've also provided a lot of tissues, which is also the toilet paper for this room. Um, they also have a big pack with big bottles of water. And yeah, also got this huge TV screen. And not to mention this massive bed. One of the things I was most worried about quarantine was the food situation. The idea of having to eat a meal that the hotel provides, whether I like it or not, kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. But I'm very happy because this hotel actually doesn't provide food. And if you want to eat, you have to get it from outside. You have to order online. So it means that I can eat what I want, when I want, how I want. So this is very, very good news. Having said that, I think the time has well and truly come. It is lunchtime. So it is time to order some food online, which is a very exciting moment for me because not only is it my first meal I'm ordering in quarantine, it's also my first actual meal back in China, which is essentially the moment I've been waiting for for the last year and a half. So let's make this a good one. Since we're in Guangzhou and there seem to be a lot of options here, I think I, think I feel like some roast meats. This looks pretty good. It's got 4.5 stars. It's had almost 1,500 reviews. It looks nice. Yeah, I'm gonna get some Roast pork on rice. Yeah, love the Chinese food ordering apps. Much like Uber Eats, you can see how far away the delivery man is from the restaurant. And then once it leaves the restaurant, it'll make its way to me. And I can see in real time 
him moving down the street to where I am. Oh, this is interesting. This is a new little feature in the time of COVID. This here is telling me that the body temperature of my delivery man is 36.7, which is, yeah, healthy temperature, 36.7, that's normal. Means he's not running a fever, which means he's probably less likely to have COVID. So yeah, I can know that my food delivery is safe. So we have our rice separately. Oh, this smells so good. Here's my roast pork. Oh, oh I love it. It's such a sweet smell. Oh. Let's try. Mm. Yeah. Well, at least if I'm gonna be in here, I'm gonna be eating good. So I have a lot more clarity today about the whole quarantine process and rules and regulations. So for Guangdong province at least, the rule is you need to have two weeks of hotel quarantine, which I'm currently in, followed by one week of community observation at your home address in Guangdong province. So. Basically what's gonna happen is right now I have a red health code, which basically means I can't do anything, I can't go anywhere, and that's because I'm currently in quarantine. But after 14 days of hotel quarantine, when I'm released, this code is gonna turn green for a period of 24 hours. And that's basically to facilitate people going home. So with a green health code, you can get on a flight, you can get on a train, you can go home. So that's where my issue comes in. I don't have a home address in China. I don't have a home address in Guangdong province. So if I don't have a home address or somewhere I can go after quarantine, hotels are not accepted by the way, um, that means I'll have to spend an extra week in this hotel doing another seven days of quarantine and not going out. So my current situation is trying to find somewhere to spend the last seven days of my quarantine. Um, otherwise it's gonna be 21 days in this hotel, which I would not love. <laughs> Okay, I am officially bored enough to try walking five kilometers in my room. Um, I have measured it. I'm pretty sure it's about 10 meters from one side to the other. So I guess by this logic, a kilometer is a thousand meters, right? A thousand meters divided by 10 equals a hundred laps will get me to one kilometer. 500 laps to get me to five kilometers. It's all right. I wonder if Nike Run Club will work in such a confined space. Beginning workout. Okay. Oh, okay. 0 0.01, it's registering. This, my friends, this is what exercising in quarantine looks like. Oh my God. Exciting moment, I've just received my first delivery in quarantine. So I have a friend in Australia who imports Australian fruits into Guangzhou and he asked me if I'd like some. Of course I said yes, so this is what he sent me. What has he sent me? This is a very heavy box of fruit. Oh my god, what the heck? Oh my god. What? Look how big this box of grapes is, and that deep. <laughs> how am I gonna eat all of these? <laughs> but you know what they say, if you've got grapes, make lemonade. Actually, it feels like I'm on holidays, eating grapes on the balcony, watching the sunset. It's humid. All I need is a bikini. I am a really, really happy lady today because I've just found out that I don't need to spend 21 days in this hotel room. So I have a friend who told me that she actually has an empty house not far from here. And she said that I'd be able to stay there for my last week of home quarantine. Even though I'll still be by myself for that last week, I'll have more room, I'll have a kitchen. You know what? This has made me feel really good. And I think, I really, really think the next 10 days are gonna go really quickly. And I have to say, it really did. I spent a lot of time walking up and down in my room, doing yoga on the balcony every morning, a lot of video editing, puzzle doing, and never in my life have I been so happy to own a gaming device. I've been playing a lot of Mario.
Another thing that's been an absolute godsend here in quarantine has been Skillshare, which is actually the sponsor of this video. So Skillshare is an online learning community. It's got thousands of classes over a really, really wide range of topics. If you're heading into quarantine soon, trust me, Skillshare is gonna be your best friend. During the last 10 days of quarantine, I've been using Skillshare to take meditation classes actually, and I cannot express how helpful it's been to keep me in a happy, positive, healthy mindset during this time alone. And a class I'd really like to recommend that I just finished is called Meditation 101, Spark Joy, Peace, and Creativity in Your Daily Life. So if you're interested in trying out Skillshare for yourself for a limited time only, the first thousand people to use the link in my description are going to be getting a free trial of Skillshare Premium. So I encourage you to check it out whether you're in or out of quarantine. I was hoping that this day 13 entry was going to be very excited like, oh my god, 24 hours to go until I'm out of this hotel. But it's kind of the opposite. I literally 10 minutes ago, I was told that I need to stay here for another seven days. So I'd actually already started packing my things <laughs> to leave tomorrow um, from this hotel. And um, due to the changing restrictions in Guangzhou at the moment, um, Guangzhou is going through a bit of a COVID spike. There's been quite a few local cases here. So rules are changing every day. And um, yeah, I've been told that um, I need to stay here. Oh my goodness, it is day 15 of quarantine and I have a lot to catch you guys up on. It's been a lot of stuff happening in the last 48 hours. Um, my friend has been helping me to try and get out of this hotel and get to her house, which is about an hour and a half away. It's not officially in Guangzhou, which means that hopefully once my extra seven days of quarantine at her house are over, I can go other places more easily because as it stands, the whole COVID situation in Guangzhou is getting more and more serious. There's more and more possibility of like a wider lockdown. And yeah, that would just not be very ideal out of, quarantine straight into a lockdown situation, especially when I have no home here. So yeah, I'm really happy right now. I've been waiting 48 hours for these words from the hotel saying 45 minutes, get out of here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I preemptively packed my things this morning. I'm so excited, I can hardly stand still. Okay, I'll just do a final once over look of the room to make sure I haven't left anything because God knows I am not coming back. Guys, remember my grapes that I got on like day three or four? I ate about half of them, so I did a pretty good job. That's like five kilos of grapes. Pretty sick of grapes, not gonna lie. But um, yeah, they started to go moldy about two days ago, so I'll just leave this for the hotel staff for them to deal with. <laughs> I don't know if you guys believe in signs from the universe, um, but I'm due to leave in 10 minutes, and I got a knock on my door that a package had arrived. Um, so I did a lot of tub bar shopping yesterday because I was like, you know, fuck it, I'm going to be in here for another seven days. I may as well order myself some nice things. And the only thing that I'll be able to receive before I go is this phone case, which says lucky. <laughs> the luck is with me today. I hope it stays with me. I'm going to put this on right now so that I, I keep this luckiness. I also ordered a whole heap of other things, but I guess I'm not going to get those. At least I got one thing. And isn't it cute? <laughs> Hello. I can't believe this is happening. Oh my gosh. I think it'll actually feel real that I'm in China once I get out of this hotel because up until this moment, like yes, I've arrived in China, but I've been in this room and I've had this one view. So it's like, it's, it's not, it doesn't feel like China yet. Okay, I think he's here. Let's go. to my taxi. Hey, ni hao. This is so crazy. I've left quarantine. I'm no longer in that room and it feels really, really weird. So I just had to come out of the hotel, sign a few release documents. They gave me some, um, my COVID test results so I can show people if needed. And yeah, I'm on my way to my friend's house where I will quarantine a further seven days. And yeah. Man, this is so great to be out. It was so weird getting out of the hotel, like, what? This isn't real. We drove for about an hour before we arrived at the turn-off to Heshan, which is a district in Jiangmen City in Guangdong province. Oh my golly goodness, I've just arrived, and I know my friend said I could stay at her house, but I didn't know she meant 
mansion. Oh my God, this place is absolutely massive. I was just hoping for a bit more space than my hotel room, but this place has a fish pond. And look at this backyard. Look, check out this. This is gonna be so much nicer for my walking circuit. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Like, check out this place. <laughs> I'll never wanna leave, seven days, no problem. You'll have to force me out of this place. Oh my goodness, look what else this house has. Basketball court. This place is amazing. Check this out. My bedroom is on the third floor. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna get a good workout living here in the next seven days. So this next level is where my bedroom is. Oh my God. This one here, just put my stuff inside there. <laughs> and then we have one more level here, which I guess would technically be the fourth level. Oh my gosh, I need some fitness. Oh, it's a beautiful view. And then I guess that's just the fourth floor, but oh, wait a second, I think that might be a door to go, oh my goodness, there's a roof. This is nice. Yeah, I'm kind of at a loss for words right now, but I'm so happy to be here. I'm so grateful. I feel so lucky. <laughs> My phone case was definitely a sign. I'm very, very lucky. And um, I think I'm just gonna get settled in, have a shower, make myself some dinner. I have a kitchen here. I can cook here. So I guess all that's left to do now is just wait and see what happens. I don't really have any idea what I want to do or where I'm going to go after quarantine finishes. I think it just depends on the whole Guangzhou COVID situation. I want to do everything possible to avoid having to do another week of quarantine. So if that means staying another couple of weeks in Guangdong province, I have no problem with that, especially since Shunda is only like 20 minutes down the road. And it's somewhere I've really, really, really been wanting to check out, especially after mum, dad and I made that video in Sydney at a Shunda restaurant. It's really good. Wow. It's really good. It's really good. Oh, I really like it. And I'm just drooling, thinking of all the roast goose waiting for me only 20 minutes away so you know who knows what the next couple of weeks are going to look like but you know it's going to be an adventure and i'm so excited to be back so thanks guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye